everyone welcome to another video on the explorers channel today we got something a little special uh, we're out in Blair Gallery uh, dog beach well it's not exactly a dog beach but it's, it is part of Blair Gallery where you're able to um, have your dog on a leash and come and um, bring him out for some exercise and we're actually out here celebrating Totti's birthday Totti so we just planned this little family outing uh, to come and give him a good time. So for those who may not be familiar with this part of Victoria, Blair Gallery is situated between Rye and Sorrento on the Mornington Peninsula on what was originally Boon land. It's about a 63 kilometre drive southeast of the Melbourne CBD. Um, pretty small town with just this um, tiny strip of shops and cafes. Um, for such a small town it actually does get pretty busy during holiday season. Um, but it is, you know, it is a nice place to come and grab something to eat and a drink here in the main drag. Uh, and then you've got the beach here just across the road, which is actually a good one, uh, especially if you've got young kids, because it's pretty calm, as you can see, no waves, and it usually stays like this throughout the whole day, even when the tide comes in, uh, very shallow. Um, you can wade out pretty far without the sea level rising too high above your knees actually and the water is pretty warm as well so it's, um, it's a nice one to hang out at um, just spend the day here chilling out um, either by yourself or with your kids uh, with young kids especially as I said a couple of these um, famous beach boxes as well scattered out throughout the beach area so that was the main beach. We headed a little further down the road to the beach where you could take your dogs. And as you can see, the boys were excited. <coughs> All right, time to introduce Totti's brother. This is Oli. Hey, Oli. He's also very excited to be out here celebrating. Oli. Oli! Oli, that's not your ball! Oli! All right, guys. So the um, seems the dogs have had enough. So we're going to move on. We're going to see what um, we can find something else to do with them. Come on, Totti, let's go. No. <laughs> All right, let's go. And we're back. Uh, we decided to come down to Mornington. Now we were here just a couple of weeks ago. Um, we did a little video which you can watch. I know the professionals usually do this that and the link appears but I haven't figured that out yet. So anyway, it's there in our videos if you want to have a look. Um, it's a beautiful view here of the pier. And all the people just out and about on the beach. So we got separated from the rest of the group on the way here. We're going to go see if we can locate them. Um, I think we've been told, well, we have been told there is another beach here where you can take uh, dogs. So we'll go have a look. Uh, we'll be right back. So we still haven't been uh, reunited with the rest of our group. Uh, they're still on making their way out here. Uh, we decided to stop at this cool little bar. 
So we decided to make a quick stop at the Counting House, which is a small bar and grill on the corner of Main Street. Um, originally we were just going to have drinks. Um, it's a cool little place with a um, nice laid back vibe. Um, and as I said, it was just going to be drinks, but then we had a look at the menu, so we decided to, to stick around and have some dinner. Uh, after looking at the menu, the rest of the group finally arrived. Uh, as you can see, the boys were excited to see everyone again. Um, so we all sat down and ordered our food. The food was amazing. Uh, a little bit pricey, but you do get what you pay for, so it was uh, definitely worth it. And it's not really an, an everyday thing, so it's... Um, but yeah, definitely recommend the counting house. The food was great. Really enjoyed it. And the boys also um, <laughs> had a little bit, bit of something under the table as well. Hey boys, Oli, Toti. I think they've had enough for the day. We're just gonna chill out now. Oli, Toti. It's okay, we're gonna go soon. So we decided to stop for some dessert. It's this little gelato place that we've um, just found next to the county house. And the boys are here patiently waiting. I think if they're well behaved, <laughs> they might get something for themselves as well. Sit. Good boy. Sit. Alright, so we're going to head down to the dog beach. The boys have already been here, but we decided to go back just to have a look. And as you can see from. Uh, the scene there behind me, we've got a couple of the historical Mornington pubs in the background, nice and uh, full. It's been a beautiful day, so there's been a lot of people out and about. Anyway, let's go have a look at what this, uh, this beach has to offer. I've never actually seen Mornington from this angle, so I'm really looking forward to it. So if I'm not mistaken, you can actually uh, bring your dogs down here and... Um, let them run loose but i'll have to confirm that in a second and if you can hear in the background there the barking that's actually ollie and toddy i'm pretty sure they get very excited when they um when they're brought out ah yeah there they are just chilling <laughs> they get very hyper and excited but you know it's not an everyday thing all right let's continue It's a bit of a steep climb, but it is doable. And especially at this time of day, it's um, kind of isolated, so it's a good place to come and chill out with your furry friends. You just have to <laughs> choose your path well. Alright guys, so this is an absolutely beautiful beach and as I said, I've never actually been here before and it is specifically a dog beach. Toti, Oli, and you can just let them run loose. Um, I guess you could swim here but it is a bit rocky. Um, but you could just really just come and enjoy the view. I mean, look at that. It's nice and calm. And what a sunset. Uh, there's a couple over there doing a photo shoot. So we'll just leave, give them their privacy. Um, but yeah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And it's not too far from Main Street. Maybe a two minute walk. And you can probably still hear the music from the pubs and the restaurants across the road there. So it isn't um, too far. And the boys are absolutely loving it. Oh, 
All right, so Tia, let's go do some exploring. Come on, it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. He gets very excited when he sees other dogs. And also, he's a little bit stressed right now because his brother's just gone away for a sec. But Ollie will be back soon. It's all right, Toti. Come on. Come on. It's all right. Let's go. <laughs> Aha, look what I found. <laughs> you like that, eh? Can you play? All right. Come on. What are you waiting for, huh? <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. I understand. I get it. I get it. Oh, there we go. Ready? Boy. And some more, All right. Ready? <laughs> Here we go. Good boy. You see Ollie's back. I told you he wouldn't be long. You happy now? I oh, just want to keep playing, huh? All right. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we're gonna wrap it up for today. Thank you for watching. It's been an absolutely glorious day. Ollie and Toddy have <laughs> absolutely enjoyed it. All running around causing mischief, but I'm sure they're gonna be um, very tired by the time we get home. It'll be a good night's sleep for them. Uh, Toddy's birthday has been an absolute um, fantastic day. It only comes around once a year, so we wanted to do something special for him and his brother. Uh, they are very spoiled, but we're lucky to have them. So yeah, thanks again for watching, and we'll um, we'll see you next time on the Explorer's Journal. We'll uh, leave you with his amazing views of the sunset here in Mornington do get out here and uh, check it out don't forget we've got another video that we did here a couple of weeks ago uh, taking Main Street just up the road there uh, with the um, uh, the Makers Market so yeah it's there there or somewhere I'll figure out where to put it anyway we'll see you next time on the Explorers Journal thanks for watching <laughs>